Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, November 21st, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is, I allow myself to be deeply intimate with my shadows and my light. Oh, that's why it's so appropriate. <laughs> We've got a lot of shadows going on. I was like, it's so dark. I need a little light. And I put on my my phone, hence this little ray right here. Um, I want to apologize for not being on camera again. We've had the busiest few days and at the end of the day I've been like, oh, I can't get myself together to go on camera, but I can record. So at least I'm getting recording up because today is the final full day of sun in Scorpio. The sun will move into Sagittarius early Friday morning, well early depending where you live, like 7 a.m. Pacific time. So we gotta get intimate with this Scorpio lesson and I love, I love that the universe is like kind of pushing it a little bit. We have uh, Mercury still hanging out at that 11 degree energy. So it's that master energy. Master energy means there's something in it to master. We also have the sun today reaching the 29th final degree, 2 plus 9, 11. So again, it has that master healing vibration. So it's mastering the lessons of Scorpio. And I think the most important lesson of Scorpio is transformation for empowerment and a lot of times that transformation is of the shadows or the things that we think are shadows these energies that we hold that we put away into the depths within us that we hide away that we may carry shame from that we have not empowered um and realizing that there is light there and that there is uh transformational energies that we can utilize to bring it to the light. So with this last day of sun in Scorpio, it's like face those things, man. If there's anything that you've been kind of like, oh, I don't really want to bring it up. Today is the day. <laughs> now we also do have Mars hanging out in Scorpio and Mars, speaking of like transformational energy, this Phoenix work that we can do. We have Mars in conjunct <laughs> uh, Chiron, Chiron and Aries. Um, so this is really profound because so often it is in the hiding of the shadows um, or hiding our shadows that we put on those masks, that we put on those layers that we're not true to ourselves. Chiron in Aries still retrograde for like another few days. I think it goes direct right at the end of November, I believe. Um, but it's soon. It's going direct soon, but it's still in this retrograde. So it's like shedding off these layers, these masks, these veils, these identities that we've carried. And Mars in Scorpio is like, you can act, react from that shadow. You can act, react from that place of not being intimate with yourself or you can start acting from your truth, from your soul, from your passion, um, from the truest sense of yourself. And so we get that in conjunct because it may feel a little uncomfortable. Chiron, healing work um, that Chiron does, it is often <laughs> less than comfortable. Now I love, one of the cards I have is the projections card in reverse. And the song that came into my uh, head <laughs> with this card and with this... Um, Mars Chiron in conjunct is shake it off Taylor Swift so shake it off <laughs> shake off the projections shake off the idea that you have to wear a mask and really come into the truth the soul the source of yourself and it's constant work shedding the layers because these ideas these projections the shoulds they have been so instilled for this lifetime and many other lifetimes so it it is constant work but like congratulations if you're doing that work all right so what else do we have going on we have moon in virgo moon in virgo making several connections moon in virgo supporting this work as it connects to pluto can you empower yourself? Can you empower your reality by being true to yourself? Ooh, speaking of reality, um, we then have the moon in Virgo squaring Venus and squaring Jupiter. Now Jupiter, Jupiter hanging out at that galactic center uh, energy, 27 degrees right now. Um, 
Side note, had an interesting conversation with somebody. Jupiter is not in the galactic center. It is a relative proximity thing, but that energy, they're like working each other. So just a little side note there. Um, the thing that came to mind, and I've been using this a lot. Um, I wish I could get the phrase completely as it was. Years ago, my friend Paige, hi Paige, shout out. Um, <laughs> She was going through daily lessons from A Course of Miracles, and she sent me one, and it was so profound. It was so good, and we use it constantly, except we've totally changed the wording. Um, basically, the idea of it is a miracle does not care what you think. <laughs> a miracle does not, like, give any regard <laughs> to... Uh, to your closed mindedness basically is like the essence of it. And with the moon squaring Jupiter, moon in Virgo, sometimes we can get so caught up in what we think is. And in fact, I do have, I do have the be here now card, but we do have to realize how much, even as we are here now, how much information, how many filters are going on in what we believe is in the here and now. And Jupiter's saying, hey, even if your reality feels a little crappy right now, <laughs> which there's a lot of challenging astro going on, a miracle has no regard <laughs> for your, your inability to believe in them basically they still are miracles are infinite possibilities are and my encouragement is it's just hold just a little bit more space see that light in there just a little bit more space for the miracles for the infinite possibilities for the things beyond what you know because I guarantee there is so much going on in favor of you and sometimes we get so caught up in the downward spiral that we forget about that and so in that square it's a call to remember it's a call to remember within ourselves that venus square too venus and sagittarius like it's like find some delight to expand yourself to expand your energy to expand your horizons i fully believe that when we are in like our happiness when we're in our best selves that's when we're most productive in this world or at least that is what i fully experience in and of myself so just be aware of that um we end the day with the sun and the moon at 29 degrees connecting to each other Virgo's willing to get obsessive with your Scorpio. So if you feel like going there, go there. But be kind to yourself. Um, and Virgo does remind you, like, if you are tracking your shadow, where do you feel it in your body? And how can you release it at this time? And how can you pour, like, transformational light energy into that place where the shadow has been dwelling? How can you, like, love on yourself how can you love on that shadow because a lot of times that's all something your shadow needs is like a little bit of love poured on it and suddenly it becomes a magnificent thing or there's jewels in there you know there's treasure in there we have the moon shifting into libra 8 19 p.m pacific time moon and libra oh it's like okay we've definitely done the depths and then here comes the Sagittarius where we reach for the light again so that's going to be bringing us into balance um but for now do work that 29 degrees Scorpio energy so um projections shake it off shake it off aloneness sit in your shadows but realize look at that light it's mimicking the light right there there is so much light in you be present for it, but be present in your source, soul, self, knowing who you are. And in that, here comes the full new beginning energy. So that is it for today. I have my eclipse readings and my 2019 readings available. And of course, regular everyday what the heck is going on with me readings are always available. <laughs> Email me for that. Um, besides that, the better gets, the better gets. You have the power. Take it moment by moment, and there is more than enough love in the world for you. Peace.